Hey guys, what's up? Two Wheel Turbin. Hannah is on the 2020 KTM Super Duke R, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about can humans, um, male or female, around five feet, ride one of these absolute beasts? Because, you know, there's a lot of short people on this planet, and, you know, should they be excluded from a bike like this? In today's video, we're gonna find out if it's possible for them to ride it, and yeah, this one should be fun. All right, so after doing some research, these Super Duke R's come up with a seat height of about 32.8 inches, which is, you know, can be kind of high for um, someone shorter like Hannah. Like, for example, can you, let's see what she looks like on the other side. A little bit of a stretch right there. That does look like a little bit of a stretch. Um, what about, can you even get the bike up oh, I yourself? Don't know if I want to try. I'll stand right here. I'll stand right here and okay. just hold get ready and try to Nope. No, no I way. Can't do it. Mm -mm. There's no way. I have my tippy toes over here. Yeah, I don't think she could. <laughs> okay. It'd take um, like, I gotta hit the gym, do some more squats. So uh starting off it's not looking too good, but <laughs> geez. Cause let's see, I'm let's look at it from this angle. It's like oh yeah, because I mean look at that guy. She that one's barely touching. This one's hanging off the ground i mean i think if you had some decent I think skill if I got some momentum yeah maybe? if you get some momentum i think if she came to a stop she's definitely not gonna be able to touch with both feet she's gonna have to lean the bike and be on one which you know with her size and strength might not be the best considering this bike weighs like i think like at least 450 pounds it's a pretty heavy bike you know being a 1290 cc but how would you say you know, other than being able to touch the ground, because I think she might have actually had an easier time touching the ground on the R6 than this bike. I didn't touch it in the R6. I never you looked didn't? the R6 up. Mm -mm. You didn't? Oh, I'll have to go back and look at that video. <laughs> you guys should go watch that video too. I'll put a little card right here where you guys can um, click and check out that video because that one actually did crazy well. I think it got like 80,000 views, something ridiculous. But yeah, it seems like Hannah, I mean, what do you think? If you had to ride an R6 or this bike, which one would you feel more comfortable riding? Honestly, like this one's heavier, but I think once I got the hang of like balancing it, probably this one, it has a narrower like range right here than the R6 did. I always felt like I was like- Yeah, that's true. The, the R6 had a pretty wide tank, like right away where this one- It's um, narrow. It's narrow and then it gets extremely wide. Like let's do a little over headshot yeah. of it you can kind of see how the tank design is with this one but i mean so in that aspect it's definitely like more comfortable i feel like i have more control than yeah what about reaching the handlebars like um, are you oh yeah you don't have to be too stretched out do you no yeah i feel like on the r6 i was bent over yeah more. This for is sure definitely, i'm sitting more upright which i think is great for you on this bike <laughs> yeah i know it's definitely gonna help a lot for me that r6 could give you some uh lower back pain where this one's definitely <laughs> a lot nicer um what about reaching the let's see so without like, you feel like with your toes you can reach the brake lever oh, yeah, yeah it looks like she can reach yeah. that pretty easy what about the uh levers that's not bad probably need to be a little adjusted this looks a little outstretched for the clutch yeah um but so what do you think do you think someone who has a decent skill set at your height could figure it out or should they stay away from this bike um i think i think any i mean honestly anyone can ride anything all that matters is your skill level and how comfortable you feel um i think if i went from an r6 to this then it would probably be a pretty fairly easy jump especially for someone my height i think mm -hmm. the biggest thing is just the height you know, yeah. problem with this seat being up a little bit, I think slightly higher than the R6 was. It's a little bit more of a tiptoe, but you know, I think you could you could work around it and figure out ways if you really wanted to. Yeah, I, th I think I definitely agree with that. It's definitely possible, but I would say, you know, standing at six foot tall, this is the first bike that I've really gotten on and it felt like KTM and the, the engineers and the designers actually built this bike for taller riders. So. Um, while it may be possible for someone with a shorter stature to ride this bike, there might be some better options. And if you really want this bike, I'm sure there's some, you know, lowering kits that you can install and drop it by an inch or two, which would definitely, um, help out quite a bit, but you know, that's good that we got to see someone with a little bit of a shorter stature, um, on this bike. And so now if any of you guys are looking to get this bike, a little worried about, um, you know, your height and how you're going to look on this bike. She's basically, you're five foot or what? 
I'm five two. Okay, five two. All right. So I guess even with those extra two inches, it looks like it's not helping too much. But <laughs> I don't know. I think based on what I'm seeing, I think if you're at least like five six, you can maybe uh, work with it. And if you're below that, definitely just having a relatively higher skill set um, riding this bike. All right, now we're gonna um, see Hannah try to dismount off this bike and see what that looks like. Is it pretty difficult? So here we go, Hannah, let's see what we got. So you really gotta swing your leg over on this bike. Um, that's definitely something to consider with this. Uh, if, if you kind of have, I don't know, if you have some flexibility issues, maybe hip flexor type issues, uh, you might run into that because you're not gonna be able to swing the leg over the rear seat which is definitely going to be important during dismount you might like hit it or lose balance or something like um just to show you let me give you kind of a first person type point of view we'll widen this out a little bit when you're getting onto the bike you know you really have to be able to swing your leg over to clear it and i noticed uh, my dad he was having a little bit of an issue with that um so that's something to consider you know definitely go to the dealer sit on one so you can kind of you know feel uh feel it for yourself and get an idea of what the seating position is like but uh what's your first impressions with the bike you know kind of seeing it for the first time um i'm super excited i really really like this bike i think it's a perfect fit for you you know when you were going through and looking at all of your potential bikes this one really just stood out to me and i kept telling you you know that's the one that you should get mm -hmm. every time you were looking at ducatis or even you know s1000s which i love i just kept telling you like to come back to this bike something about it just like i don't know for me really spoke to me and if you look at it just look at the angles it looks like it's you know from another planet it's gorgeous and it's really like blows your mind kind of you know compared to the r6 i loved the yellow on the r6 and it was really really pretty but i think mm -hmm. this one is just going to be overall a better bike for you i think it suits you a definitely lot better. i think it'll be a lot more you know comfortable hopefully on our rides to arkansas you know six hours on the bike is a really long time and on the r6 i know it was kind of a killer with you know having to lean over the whole time constantly you know with Definitely. your wrist feeling that so yeah with this bike you have cruise control which is yeah you know really weird to think on a motorcycle that you can have <laughs> cruise control that's pretty awesome and then this beautiful display you have which is you know all of that important tech stuff is a really nice add-on and then being able to you know eventually put on some heated grips and yep. heated seat that's going to make this so much more you know comfortable for that ride and being able to sit upright too like that's a huge difference compared to leaning over you don't yeah. want to do that for six hours yeah that was definitely i was always super sore so i'm hoping uh with this bike it's gonna be quite different and another thing is we got this pretty nice passenger seat how would you describe you know how this seat looks compared to the r6 it looks a lot bigger I have to say, you know, right now I haven't been able to ride with this weather. Like, yeah, haven't it's a little tested wet. it out. It's pretty wet. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> but I'm really excited once it, the sun clears up and the roads dry out, like, to try this out, see what it's like. I'll definitely, you know, make sure to make a video telling yep. you guys how either how much better or how much worse this is compared to the r6 and yeah. i hated the seat on the r6 yeah it that's was so the, small. i never rode on the back of that bike and i don't think i ever will but i mean this bike has got some really nice passenger pegs pretty good size looks like they have nice grip and i like how it's black not a lot of manufacturers do that from the factory so i think uh, hannah's gonna like that it looks like a lot more of a relaxed uh position compared to how crouched the r6 was when you sat on the back for sure when i rode on the back of the r6 i mean i was either constantly slamming into you because you were leaned over like this or i was trying to hold the gas tank while you yeah. were riding which was just painful on my wrist so i'm hoping that this will you know be a little bit better with you sitting upright it won't be so hard to hold on to you yep exactly but yeah guys um you know go down below subscribe click the notifications because we are definitely going to be making a video uh involving hannah on the back of this with her reaction and stuff so if you want to see that make sure you subscribe down below and like for more videos with her and all these cool bikes um i love to do this and make these videos for you guys so yeah stay tuned thanks hannah for helping me see you guys